And I think it's a good thing that, as we were told by Bishop uh, Asila, the church is where the light is. And this light can radiate and permeate all those dark places and cause a change. Meaning that the Kenyan church must itself be at the forefront of changing the leadership dynamic in our country. Uh, politicians will not easily do that, and I'm one of them. They will not easily do that because many of them believe if they lead in the light, they forego opportunities that they want for themselves. So as you sit there, you must know that you have a lot of responsibility. Na mambo mmefundishwa mkirudi nyumbani mahali mnafanya kazi ni vizuri mueneze, msambaze. Unaita viongozi wale wako under you in the community, in the church, everywhere because you know where you work your jurisdiction. You know about those leaders. And you tell them there is a new thing that I want us to learn together. And what you learned, you start multiplying it. Even uh, Reverend Daktaria Mesema, you start having, you know, groups. And you tell them this is how it is. You know, let's, let's, let's begin to change our leadership. You know, like uh, our sister from Kitui, uh, you know, uh, and I think you talk to the governor about what you have been doing. Uh, you tell her, once in a while, I want to talk to you. Once in a while, I want to talk to some of your, you know, those big people, the people who are supposed to be big, like me. <laughs> and you say that there is this new thing. You know, let's discuss it a little. And that's how you influence. So please influence where you are, teach where you are. And you were told, eh, wakati unasemekana kwamba wewe ni kiongozi wa kujitoa, ni kiongozi kulingana na bibilia, ni kiongozi ukifuata mwenendo wa yesu. Wakati unadiklea hiyo, ujue kwamba umejiweka taabuni kwa sababu unamulikwa. Ukionekana maali kando kando, nyuma nyuma, maali panagiza, Bwana kuambia wewe ulitudanganya. Wewe ulisema ni kiongozi tofauti. Lakini wewe unafanya mambo yale yanafanywa na kila watu wale wa giza. So ni jambo umejibandika la ku, to, 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 to make sure that you take care. You take care, you strengthen it, that spirit. Na tena meambiwa kwamba when you are a servant leader, you threaten very many leaders, mm. other leaders who don't want to be servant leaders. Because when you are consistently a servant leader, you will make them be asked, why aren't you a leader like that one? Why aren't you a leader like Emilu? And you know, the political people don't like that because they are supposed to be on top. And other leaders, not just political leaders. So you must also protect yourself and get protected by those you associate with so that that leadership is not dimmed. And you are not quote, 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 fought until you begin to say, why should I continue to be a servant leader? Why can't I be a leader like all these others? Now, in the conversations of the, the, the four, and as we, we were preached to, and as uh, Dr. Tari said, uh, uh, this uh, matter of you are with the people, you are consistently with the people. Uh, you understand what's happening there. You are their friend. Until they say, he or she is one of us. Ata mambo yao yale awambi watu wengi wanakuambia. Shida zile awambi watu wengi wanakuambia. You see, that's when you know that you're a servant leader. Not by declaring yourself, but by that feedback. When you are embraced and when people... Uh, share with you whatever it is which is a challenge to them. They share with you their joys and they share with you wanakuambia njoo nyumbani. 
kuna porridge aina sukari lakini jo tunyu because you, we you know appreciate what uh, you do uh, you remember of course uh, a scripture where a mother uh, takes uh, sons to Jesus and the mother is saying i want these people to be big for them to sit right karibu na wewe kabisa yeah now you know when i read that scripture i'm even amazed it was not the father it is the mother you know the mothers love their children a lot i am not saying fathers don't so this mother you know wants uh sons to really be privileged uh, and of course he just tells her, you don't know like what will befall of me you wouldn't if you knew you wouldn't even ask that closeness uh, to for your children but of course there is a controversy with the rest of the disciples you know they are saying why did you why, why did you go to say you should be bigger than us and then of course now jesus has the opportunity to teach them about leadership uh, to teach them what what is uh, leadership and that uh, he himself came to serve and i think that's one of the most powerful statements in terms of leadership when the man god says i came to serve so it's god saying i came to serve and the scripture you know we have been told about where he's washing the feet where he's serving consistently so like bob asked uh, we serve god by serving people by following that example uh, by following that uh, example and the question of integrity in many spheres like you know the corruption like many spheres like moral integrity uh, although god really loved david and he said he's a man after my own heart he really loved him and david did great deeds and yet david saw somebody else's wife and he was tempted and god even as he loved david punished him so you can see this god who loves you greatly but he doesn't love sin and so he punished david and we remember the story of joseph because joseph also was tempted in a huge way and he ran away from the temptation uh, sometimes when i'm thinking about moral integrity uh, i juxtapose those two examples uh, and joseph did and he was punished by now the earthly leadership because the lady accused him falsely and yet he was to be in jail because that was God's plan because there was something else God wanted uh, him uh, to do and we also remember the story uh, uh, in Samuel when Samuel is about to hand over leadership uh, to Saul and uh, I think that scripture if I can read it is 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 some scripture that I really uh, 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 like uh uh, 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 first Samuel uh, 12 uh, where Samuel says uh, Samuel said to all Israel I've listened to everything you said to me and I've set a king over you because they asked for a king now you have a king as your leader as for me I'm old and gray and my sons are here with you I have been your leader from my youth until this day. Here I stand. Testify against me in the presence of the Lord and is anointed. Whose ox have I taken? Whose donkey have I taken? Whom have I cheated? Whom have I oppressed? From whose hand have I accepted a bribe to make me shut my eyes? If I have done any of this, I will make it right. And of course, all gathered said, you have not done those things. So as a servant leader, you have to know that as your tour of duty ends, 
when you feel that you are old, you have to ask yourselves those questions. And if people can answer, you have not done any of those things, then that is an affirmation that you are a servant leader. As I conclude, because I had said myself I had a challenge of time, as, as, as I conclude, uh, before 2000 and, uh, 2013, when I wanted to come and you know, be a governor in Makweni, if the people chose me, nilikuwa na fanya kazi sikuizo na na kibaki rais kibaki na nikamweleza kwamba nina hamu ya kwenda kujifunza theolojia na kwa hivyo naomba ruhusa niwe ninaenda shule e, ndio usielezo kwamba siko ujue kuna mahali ninaenda na akasema sasa wewe mwalimu profesa umesoma sana sasa hii tena ingine unataka kusoma ya nini and I told him it is three and a half years. It's a, a course of three and a half years. Uh, it's, it was evening school, just like you are studying as you work. Uh, alafu, uh, nikamwambia, ni, ni, ni mesoma sheria ya binadamu, uh, law. Lakini kuna sheria ingine iko juu, na hii ni sheria ya mungu. Ningependa kusoma hiyo pia. And of course, some of my intention was, as a pastor of my family, I wanted to be more grounded uh, in the word of God uh, so that I can serve there. And then I wanted the county to be my area of ministry, even as a governor, so that uh, when I approach my leadership here, uh, this is my area of ministry. And uh, I really thank God for planting that idea in me uh, we went through, you know, the school, and coming to Makweni, I believe uh, what I learned and also what I've learned about leadership and what Mulinge is teaching us, uh, uh, I believe I have tried to use uh, that knowledge uh, in almost now 10 years in Makweni, and, and I'm really grateful to God uh, for that. I, we don't have the time for me to say some of the things that we we do uh, to show that that is our, our, our intention and what we have purposed uh, 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 to do. Uh, so finally, I want to tell uh, uh, Dr. Mulinge that as I transit to the next level of work, uh, which, God, which God will show me, uh, I will uh, contribute some of my time uh, in this initiative uh, <laughs> because I know it is God ordained and, and I know it is something that God wants to be spread in our entire uh, country and for that reason it's one of the things that I have uh, 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 in prayer asked God he enables me to be a partner with us lead uh, going forward so congratulations, and hii uh, elimu mmepata, uh, tafadhali muendele kuitumia na kufunza wengine, na tena jinsi kimilu wamesema mkipata na fasi ya kuongezea, tafadhali ongezeeni. And uh, the evidence of the impact of what has happened for me came from the speeches that were made by the four of you, because as a teacher, I'm able to listen to people speaking and to know what they have got from what they have uh, learned. And even that small gentleman who has a balloon uh, agrees with me. <laughs> Asanteni and God bless you mightily. Thank you, thank you so much, Governor. We are going to the next news.